Sasaka is a 25-year-old female killer whale, and she is about one month away from having a baby. She's gained a lot of weight. I bet she's gained 600 pounds. We stopped weighing her after she couldn't slide out anymore. What we've noticed is during this pregnancy uh, that she's really been a super affectionate towards the trainers and the other whales. Lots of just coming on over, laying upside down, wanting that back rub, wanting that belly rub. And uh, I see how she's just lining up here. I'm not really asking her to do this. She's, she's asking for it, and that's, that's great. She's just been a big sweetheart through this. She loves her rub downs. By base of her dorsal fin, best spot, and the very tip of her tail flukes. We call it a manicure. And we just kind of go along the tips of her tail flukes and rub for how long? Half she, hour, she 45 minutes. An hour, yeah. And then she doesn't want you to even get out of the pool. So, neat whale. Hisaka is the best mom. She's perfect. She's a dominant killer whale. And what's funny is she's such a protective mom of her first calf, Takara, that Takara is also becoming dominant, following the same footsteps. Yeah, our favorite thing, though, is protective. to swim with the, both of them together. Yeah. It's always our favorite That's show. the best playtime in the stadium, Kasaka Takara playtime. Because they're both just so comfortable with each other, and, and Kasaka is so happy. Something that I started coming up with, we always did some of the whales like ice cubes. We put ice on top of our fish, fish buckets. Well, we thought, well, why don't we try some other shapes and sizes? So we tried different sizes of buckets, and that was fun. But what was really fun is I started going around to the secondhand stores and finding different kinds of cake pans, bunt pans. They love the bunt pans. They love to bite on them, uh, share them with each other, push them around. Any kind of game they can they can think of. It's very fun. There she is. Look at that. I feel it. I don't know how you feel, Lisa, but I really feel it. Kasaka knows she's pregnant. We decided to uh, attempt artificial insemination with a killer whale. Kasaka is really the best candidate for this, considering the last time she had a calf was almost 10 years ago. Really, they have calves every couple years, and it was really time for Kasaka to have another calf. Uh, it was a very easy process to actually train. I mean, it sounds like some astounding thing that we trained, but the way it took about 20 minutes to train it. The whales, uh, the interaction, they seemed very comfortable with uh, what we were doing with them. What we're really shooting for, and we've actually attained the most successful breeding uh, program in the world, even more successful than in the wild. We just want to um, secure that future of the killer whale population for SeaWorld for a long time so people can come and see these incredible animals. But I think when I really fell in love with sea animals and the ocean, I was about 13 years old, and I went down to the La Jolla Coves area, tried on a mask, and went in the water, and I fell in love with the ocean. I knew that was what I was going to do, and my passion just grew from there. Uh, gotcha. Now, this is difficult. In my childhood, I really had a neat experience about being around a lot of animals, and my parents really exposed us to a lot of different situations with other animals, and then we also a weekly outing was scuba diving. And so I started scuba diving when I was seven years old. So I really just started to fall in love with the ocean. It's just incredible. It is a whole nother world. Never did I imagine I would end up swimming with and working with killer whales. That just was beyond even my dreams. I tell people, you know, you have a lot of fun the first couple of years with the whales. But it's the last, you know, years, the years after like five or six that you really, you something special is really going on. And it's that bond, that relationship. Uh, it is like caring for your own family. I've it been really there is. for over eight years. And I tell you, just the thought of not being with them makes me want to cry. They're yeah. my family. I can't leave them. <laughs> the first time I see Kasaka's baby, for one thing, I don't care what time it is, call me. Because I'm coming down there. I will camp out next to the pool and wait for that calf. 
because I'm not going to miss it. What I found, too, working with the, the whales and the trainers, is that Robin likes it a lot, too. <laughs> a lot of the staff has been there a long time, so we're all very excited about Kasaka being pregnant. Uh, looking forward to an incredible summer with a baby killer whale. Can't wait to see your baby. Pretty soon. All right. Hey, is this the breakfast for the guys? Yeah. And this bigger one's Kasaka's? All right, why don't we give her an extra salmon? Since she has eaten for two. Let's go out and feed the guys, all right? All right, good morning. Hey, Mama. Yes. Time for breakfast. And yep, she's eating for two right now. So that salmon and the herring with a lot of fat really is uh, good for her, good for the calf. Now, Mom here, what we've noticed throughout the pregnancy that she's actually eating a little less per meal, kind of like when humans are pregnant, uh, towards the end of the pregnancy. They don't eat quite a large meal, maybe several smaller meals, but here's one of her favorites, the salmon. And look at that. Bite that thing right off, huh? Yes, you like that stuff. Every once in a while, I think she has a day where she might be feeling pregnant, you know, where she's like, I just want to sit over here for a little bit. And she'll have other days where she's feeling a little more uh, energetic, wanting to do some more. So we just really roll with what we see in her. Uh, knowing her for so many years, it's very easy to read. Very easy to see what uh, she needs. And she needs a kiss. You need a kiss? Yes, you do. Girl. Yeah, today, Robin, we need to get a blood sample from her to just assess her health. And then with, that, with this, we can also test for progesterone, which is a hormone that we see ahead, that'll elevate yeah. during pregnancy. Uh, this is a monthly exam, which is very cooperative. We train them to present their tail flukes to us, very relaxed, always building the trust with them, reinforcing them for being calm and relaxed. So pretty soon we can step down with the right size gauge needle and insert it into the tail flukes, withdraw the sample, they're calm and relaxed, and it's a great way to go. Can you imagine trying to get a blood sample from a whale that doesn't want to present a fluke to me? It would be quite a job. Yeah, the trainers have have created this incredible relationship. We also ultrasound her once or twice a month to assess the health of the fetus. Baby. Uh, I'd like, I want to see a fetal heart, Ooh, heartbeat. Cool. If you see something, I want to look up see it on the screen. You sure can. Hey, also, we brought out the measuring tape in case we get some girth measurements. Okay, good. Let's yeah, look at her left side. Last time we found the fetus on the left side. Okay. Let's try it again today. It's probably on all sides at this point, right? <laughs> Oh, I'd love to be able to find a heartbeat. That doesn't mean, just because I haven't found it, doesn't mean that there's never a normal heartbeat. Yeah. I just can't seem to find the chest. We need the ultra super yeah. soft skin. Now, what is that? Well, I think that's, I believe that's the top of the calf. That is cool. Chest. But if you look here, see that line? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the fetus. Really? I'm going to twist it around here and see if I can get a better. Now, is that fetus moving right there? Yeah, there's a little bit of movement. Look at that. But it's moving away from us right now. The shy it. baby, there huh? There, there, there's some vertebra. Look carefully, see some lines. Yeah, that puts my mind at ease, though, just to see that movement, you know? Yeah, she's progressing very well. That's great. Fantastic. Yes. Good job, Mama. All right. You're making great, a good baby in there. You got a good baby in there. Very nice. First, what we're doing is we're going to roll her over, and we're actually doing a measurement here on the distance between the mammaries. Towards the end of the uh, of her gestation, we'll actually start noticing that it will start to increase, and that'll give us a good indication when the day is going to happen. Oh, Look at that belly. She's really starting to show, would you say? Wasn't she about 10 feet the last time we measured her? Look at that. She's really starting to show um, now. This is wonderful. I have a question for you. Are we going to get to feel the baby move? You might be able to. In fact, really? you'll probably see it. See it move as well. But she's progressing extremely well. 
Oh, I can't wait. I want the baby. I want it. Well, we're just about a week away from her due date, but we've actually noticed an increase in the distance between her mammaries, and that's a really good sign that it's going to be coming any day, so we're really excited. Good girl. Good girl, Mom. Good girl. Yeah. I'm just sitting here on the edge of my seat. She's actually vocalizing, communicating with her first calf to Kara, who's in there with her. She's making a lot of noise. About five minutes ago, I, I saw Kasaka expel her uh, mucus plug, so it's going to be happening any time now. We haven't yet seen uh, a head or tail flukes yet, but uh, that's what I'm looking for right now. Those of you that are just joining us for the 845 Killer Whale Show. The show has been canceled. One of our Killer Whales has just gone in labor. Well, first thing this morning when I came in, what we've been doing is actually taking her temperature. And we're looking for it to be um, a degree lower than it normally is. And this morning it was. And I actually couldn't believe it. She was acting very agitated, like she was having a contraction, then she'd start swimming more normal, like she's not. She had an opening about the size of a large softball, and you saw a black shiny starting to poke out through. Yeah, but she's oh, definitely having some... There it is, there it is, there it is. That looks like a hit to me. There it is. Oh, that looks like a hit to me. Yeah. You bet it does. You bet it does. This one's going to come fast. It's coming head first. Right here, right here. I rolled her over, and uh, instead of her baby being higher above the belly button, it was below the belly button, about eight inches. You could feel where the hump of where the baby was had dropped quite significantly. Look how slow they were. They're getting close, man. We are just, I'm going to bust. There's the park. There's a little bit pushing out. Look at now. There's some hanging out down there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, See, what's that? That's, that's a flukes. That's flukes. That's flukes. That's flukes. That looks like a head to me. Oh, you guys, that was no. flukes. Really? It's all curled up? Oh, my God. So it's, it's the bottom. Like the white yeah. bottom. It's coming out like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. Look. Look. Oh, that's, that's you guys. a head. That's 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 a head. We want the tail to come out first. It hardens the flukes. So the calf's gonna it's gonna be weak when it comes out. The flukes are gonna not gonna be very effective. It'll be soft. So could be a problem.
right, right as she's actually giving birth, she dropped it out of sight. But just two seconds later, it's like all of a sudden there's three killer whales swimming to the top. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, is that you your guys, we like your, your baby. Oh, 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 oh. That is incredible. Look at, look at, look at. I have been working here 12 and a half years and I've never seen look something look at, look at, amazing. Look at that. How beautiful. High five. We'll take one. Yeah. Oh, another friend. They're all my best friends and now I got a new friend. Well, we had a baby here six days ago, and we also just recently found out that the baby is a male. And they took blood samples from the placenta, actually, and that's how they determined all this, and the baby's doing great. The first couple days, what we're looking for is about 90 minutes a day of nursing. There's uh, two and or three people observing the calf and mom every minute, recording all kinds of data. Uh, so, yeah, life has changed. Over the last six days, we've seen some interesting characteristics from the baby already start to emerge. The calf is starting to uh, kind of venture out. Within a day and a half to two days, mom would hang over here and the baby goes swim out in the middle of the pool. All of a sudden, you're like, he's out there on his own and <laughs> he seems to just have that in his personality. She's confident enough to, like within a, what is it, a couple minutes, she actually brought the calf right over. That was so interesting. To show Robin and I, uh, brought the calf right over to the glass, uh, just for a few moments, long enough to say hello to the new baby. And then she made sure that she rounded that baby right back up and started heading that baby up for a breath again. Kasaka's second calf um, actually came out head first. Uh, there's really no, you know, concern with whether the calf comes out head first or tail first because the, the calf is connected to mom through an umbilical cord which doesn't actually separate or snap until the actual birth. A little bit of a benefit with the flukes coming out first they get a chance to to firm up a little bit make them a better swimmer. We've had 15 killer whales born throughout our SeaWorld family parks. All of them of course are very special but this little guy is even more special. You know why? He was um, conceived through artificial insemination. So instead of moving a 12,000 pound killer whale out here, we're actually able to conceive through artificial insemination. I'm mixing the two pods, like that happens in the wild, they, that also happens out there, the pods will come together and the gene pool is mixed between the pods at that time. Uh, doing that is essential for the health of the whole collection of killer whales that SeaWorld has. We're really seeing an experienced mom here, yeah. little older mom, uh, very comfortable in her environment. And even today, we're going to start doing some water work with mom. We're actually going to try to go ahead and get in the, enter the water with Kasaka and her calf. We've been feeding her on the fly where she'll swim by and we're actually giving her fish that way. Started to get her where she can stop and come over and eat normally and, and it's time for that. It's six days. She needs to come right over. Good, mama. How about a shirt? Good girl. Yeah, so mom is, he's learning something new right now. We all are. I'm learning how to feed. A brand new mom killer whale, and that's different. There we go. Good job, mama. There we go. The beast is in this line of tactile. Again, very privileged. I mean, this is a dominant killer whale right here. Just had a baby, and uh, she has close enough relationships with a lot of trainers here that she actually allows us to do this. And is not concerned. She knows us, and we know her. So a lot of comfortability there. It just doesn't get any better than this. I mean, been here for almost 13 years. A lot of great high points in my career and my relationships with the animals. But the birth of this calf is the highest point. I was so happy that I was actually here when I knew she was going to have this baby. Say hi! Hi, Mom! I love you, Mom! Look at that little calf. He is so cute. Check it out. You're so cute.
Next up on Animal Planet, meet more of the cutest critters you've ever seen on another episode of That's My Baby. In the animal kingdom, just as in ours, the birth of a baby is a natural miracle. And it doesn't matter if they're calves, kits, cubs, or colts. They're without a doubt as cute as can be. Don't miss That's My Baby next, only on Animal Planet.